On today's episode of Glow Trotting with Trey, I am in Biloxi, Mississippi, and tonight I'm staying inside this house. It's a new Airbnb that I highly recommend to you if you're an Elvis fan and making a trip to Biloxi. Stay here because right next door was June and Nico's old home where Elvis would visit her. As you see in this picture, this picture was captured inside this house. Elvis and June was here once upon a time in their lives. And now you can be right next door. The owner is embracing the Elvis history. He has restored the facade of this house back to how it was in a picture of June back in the 50s when Elvis would visit her. Today, you're going to explore inside the house with me. Stay tuned. So check out this street light, guys. Check out this pole. Looks old. Now hopefully it is. Because if it is the same pole, Elvis in June was parked right here up underneath it in November of 1955, the first night that he hung out with June with Nico. They stay out late to 3.30 in the morning. Watch the end of this episode because I'm going to take you to the place and we'll make the drive back and I'll tell you a little bit more about it. But uh, Elvis brings her back home there that night, parks in front of the house under the street light and they sat in the car like two new loves would do for a few hours. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't get out of the car, out of Elvis's car till about six in the morning and she tries to sneak in because she said her mom's room was just right here. And of course her mom was awake and uh, well, she was not too happy, I guess you would think. I think June was what, 17 years old? But anyhow, June said she went in the house and could not go to sleep, of course, because all she could think about was all the things that Elvis had said to her and things that they did there on the beach, which was a lot of kissing little monkey business going down and that when that one of Elvis's songs but anyway I said all that to say this this was June when Nico's home here on Fayard Street this home is the home that these iconic pictures were captured inside inside that door and I'm gonna try to get inside on this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey to line up some shots so cross your fingers on that but now, guys, you can stay here at 229 Fayard Street at the new Airbnb here in Biloxi, right next door to a place Elvis was once upon a time in his life. Biggest year of his life. So let's explore inside of this home and check this out before we go in. Greg, the owner, who's embracing the Elvis history and June Juan Nico history, of this street he's changed the awning the front facade back to how it was in a picture with June and Nico that I'm showing you on screen check that out he tried to uh, replicate that and did a heck of a job to bring it back to how it was there in 1955 56 when June and Elvis was here I think Elvis actually took a picture of June and we have a dog here that wants to bark and ruin my shots. Actually took a picture of June right here, looking back this way, that I'm now showing you on screen. Elvis took that picture, supposedly, of June and Nico. So Elvis was standing right here, guys. So now, you can stay right here at June and Nico's home, right next door to her home. Here inside this cool house. Let's explore. Check this place out, guys. Look how awesome it is in here. They did a heck of a job. I've actually come in when they were first restoring this place. Wow. 
I'm blown away by how nice it is in here. Look at the island. Little bar air stools. So you see here, you got a nice living room. That's the front door, of course. Let's check the bedrooms out. Here's one bedroom. And you'd be right here at the front porch of June's old home. Can you see Elvis walking by right there? Can you see him walking up these uh, stairs on the front porch? There's literally a picture of Elvis that I'm showing you now, captured right there as he's coming out of the kitchen. <laughs> but this house is awesome, guys. Highly, highly, highly recommend a place for you to stay so close to Elvis history here in Biloxi. You have a lock. No one can get in there. Nice shower area. Oh, who's that? So yeah, living room, of course. Nice little area to enjoy. Guess here's the master bedroom. Look at that bed. It's my bed tonight, guys. I'll let you know how it slept in the morning. Let's look out back of June's house. Could you see Elvis going in that door? These windows are in pictures with Elvis. Either this window or... That window right there is in a picture with Elvis. And that window, guys, if you can see it, I'll, I'll show that to you later. So you have a nice kitchen area. Then off the kitchen, then off the kitchen, it's another bedroom that you can sleep. Check this out. See that window right there? Look at this picture with Elvis. Elvis is standing on the other side of that window in June's bedroom. So now you'll know when you stay here. Look at the back area. It's a windy day today in Biloxi. It's a nice day too. And then right off of this bedroom, guys, you walk over here and you have a walk-in shower. Check that out. So yeah, this is a very, very nice place. They've done a great job. Washer and dryer. Wash your clothes. So yeah, I highly recommend, I highly recommend uh, staying here at 229 Fayard Street, right beside June Juanico's house. And uh, it sleeps three bedrooms, a nice couch. I don't know if couch pulls out, probably does, we'll see. But it uh, sleeps with, what, five, six people? All right, Greg, so I want you to introduce yourself to my Elvis audience and talk about, about your new place here. I'm going to say here tonight, first time I'm seeing it after when it's all completed. I saw it when you were working on it, and it looks awesome. It looks I awesome. appreciate that. So, I'm, you know, I'm showing these guys a new place here in Biloxi, Mississippi to stay by a really big Elvis uh, and June one Nico historic place. So tell us, talk, talk a little bit about this place. Well, you know, I was looking for a, a house to purchase to uh, turn into a vacation rental, Airbnb, VRBO type deal. And this one just happened to, this one just happened to fall in my lap. And uh, I went down there, signed the paperwork, got my hands on it. And then, you know, only, only to find out what a disaster 
you know, this place <clears throat> ended up being and all the work I had to put into it. So uh, fast forward the clock to where I've already started to work on it. And uh, I, I got a couple of neighbors that are telling me that uh, there's an Elvis Presley story in the neighborhood. So I was kind of busy and didn't, you know, uh, pay much attention to it. But, uh, you know, and as I got a little bit more free time and I could socialize a little bit more and relax, then uh, uh, the story started to come to light. So here I am one day, I'm out back working on the house and uh, this guy comes around the corner with a, uh, with a camera around his neck. And I'm thinking to myself, oh man, I'm in trouble. That, here comes code enforcement, you know. And then, so I was a little bit apprehensive at first. So once again, the Elvis Presley story popped up. And the uh, guy says, hey, do y'all know anything about the Elvis story here? I said, I've heard bits and pieces, but, I, you know, it's not, I'm not sure um, what's going on. And then it happened to be Trey, and he knew a lot more about it than everybody else around here did. And I said, well, I said, well hey, come on in, man, and, uh, you know, uh, take a look around and tell me the story. So sure enough, I, I finished renovating it. June Monaco, 1956, lived next door, dated Elvis Presley. And then uh, it's well documented. There's pictures of, that Elvis took uh, of, of her on, on the car out in the street. And, um, you know, the, the place gets finished and then the story starts to come to light. And like I said, I just got lucky. I kind of fell into it. And here we are. Here we are, right. Yeah, I walked up that day. I was back there in the back alley where uh, Elvis and lights a park so he could get away with people not seeing him in the front on the front street here. And um, I think I showed you that, hey, I think Elvis definitely parked right here and it's pretty much on your property. Mm -hmm. What was that like when I'm telling you that? Well, you know, the thing about it is if you, if you don't have it, the story, it, you know, it, is, it's a historic, it's cool, it's a cool story. Yeah. But the, 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 real, the real thing about it is when you, whenever you have something tangible uh, and you can see, you know, what the history, what the people of the, around here are telling you that the history is, now you, and now you see the photos and, it, and, it's, and it's documented and it's captured, then that really ties it in that really ties it into the story and you know that it's true because yeah. you know you, you hear a lot of stories everywhere you go but there nobody has any proof exactly but we definitely have proof he was next door and you know who knows uh he could have been in the, this house at some point just since he was so close and you know they might have been family friends or whatever that lived right next door and elvis came in and met the people mm -hmm. i'm sure i mean that's a strong possibility just where we're at mm -hmm. <laughs> right so Elvis definitely could be inside your house as well. We just don't know. It's not documented. Well, and correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> um, I think that the history is he dated, they dated each other from 55 to 57 or something. Okay, so uh, June met Elvis in November of 55 when he played there at the uh, Airmen's Club in Kessler. Mm -hmm. And that night in November of 55, he brings her home mm -hmm. right here right next door, and then Elvis comes back in 56, mm -hmm. and a few times back to Biloxi, definitely July 56 was the big time, mm -hmm. and uh, so Elvis comes back, so he parks, that's when he would park in the alley back here, and he would be at June's house, mm -hmm. and then they'd figure out what they're going to do, and then uh, Guff Hills, chartered a boat, all that stuff, so it was 55 and 56 mm -hmm. is kind of their relationship. So maybe possibly into 57, but I guess we don't really know. I, mean, I think 56. Okay, so... Uh, Elvis goes to Hollywood and makes his first movie during this time. So, so at least for a solid year. Oh, yeah. Or maybe a little bit more. Yeah. So, well, that, then, then it only stands to reason. I mean, we don't know... I don't know who was living here at, at that time, and they could have become friends, and he... It's very, very possible yeah. that... That's something we'd have to ask June. Right, right. But... Know. You know, it's the, the, just knowing that it's possible that he walked in this house is fun. <laughs> I mean, it has a, has a strong possibility because you got to think people would know Elvis is over here. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So what's it say is the neighbors, they, June and bring them in and meet, meet them, 
woman that was living here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, that's a strong possibility just because all they had to do was walk out one door and two steps, they'd be into your house. Mm -hmm. So, and you know, I mean, if they parked in the alley, Greg, Elvis and June, they're going in this side door right here to, to the right of you, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. That's the only other door into the house except from the, uh, from the uh, uh, front of the June's home, so. Let's talk a little bit about the house. Three bedrooms, you know, we have a walk-in shower, two shower, where you've got a bathtub as well, so you've got a walk-in shower, a bathtub, three bedrooms. I love this kitchen area with the island, um, I guess you'd call that an island, yeah. Uh, bar area type thing. So, so how did you design this place? Well, the design was real simple. It, it, it used to be a two bedroom, one bath. <clears throat> but the previous owners made a lot of made a lot of changes to it, and they had it listed on the uh, on the county website as a as a three two. So they tried to uh, you know make some additions to it, but unfortunately they uh, those additions needed to be um, revisited because they weren't they weren't very proper. So I just basically got in here and tore the tore the house apart yeah. and just ripped everything out down to the studs. <clears throat> Floor was ripped out. Um, yeah, the walls were ripped out, etc. New sheetrock, new paint, new, obviously, you know, new kitchen. But it had to be completely redone. I mean, honestly, uh, looking back on it, I probably should have. I probably should have bulldozed the thing down and started from scratch. But no, you no, you didn't do that because Elvis saw this house. Right. Yeah, oversaw the, the outside of this home, so you better not bulldoze yeah. that. <laughs> well, every, everything's been restored. I, you know, I did move a, a couple of windows; they were too close. And the awning out front, where mm -hmm. um, Elvis took the picture of June, and you can see that. You know that th th this this place had five, I think five, one, mm -hmm. two, three, four. I think it had five awnings on it. Yeah. But they're just not practical these days. Yeah. So, so one, okay. So, and you know, because you, you're you're definitely embracing this Elvis and June Juanico part of this area, this your house. Mm -hmm. uh, so you saw that picture of of June on the street, and uh, y your house is prominent behind her in that picture. So that inspired you to make sure that that owning was put back out there, like it was in that picture, right? That was an absolute. Months. Necessity, yeah, because that's the only thing that tied the you know the the house to the story, and now it's tangible. Like I said yes, earlier, right. if you you know if you hear a story and you don't have anything to back it up with, well, it's just a story, but now it's legit. So, if 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 they would like to next time they come into Biloxi, anyone watching this, looking for a place to stay, how can they rent this this home? It's on it's on Airbnb and VRBO. Um, and I'll put that link in this video, Greg. Yeah, I appreciate that. It, it uh, the two calendars synchronize with each other, so if somebody rents it on one, then it'll it'll show the that way that you know I don't have any um, I won't have any conflicts. Yeah. So. And the house is it's right here by the beach. It's by the Beau Rivage. It's by the Hard Rock. It's it, everything right downtown is just across the railroad track. It's very uh, convenient location, prominent location for everything, just right here in this area. Well, another thing I'd like to uh, mention is that it's not in a neighbor in a neighborhood. It is like the neighborhood is to the east, mm -hmm. but I sit like in the um, southwest corner, which is in a pocket. So there's Cayvet over here where they do the Mardi Gras um, parades, and there's commercial businesses that shut down at five behind me, and the neighborhood is that way. So. I'm I'm really out of it, you know, which is which is nice because all you have to do is just go around the corner and you've got all your you've got all your food, your mm -hmm. nightlife, your casinos, your golf courses. You could walk from here to those places. You could, mm -hmm. and it's you know wouldn't take you too long to, to get there. Mm -hmm. Right around the corner. But uh, you know, there's a lot of things that are are popping up here in Biloxi for the future. Things are are looking to be built. Uh, new things are supposedly coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, isn't there something maybe that could be coming into this area? There's uh, two. There's actually well, there, there's actually three. We don't we don't know how it's going to fall out yet. But the uh, just the idea of what they want to do if it comes through is going to be great. Uh, two casinos, a 26 acre casino, mm -hmm. 
And then um, the Broadwater, the old Broadwater here, got it was destroyed in the, uh, I think, I can't remember, what, I think Katrina was its final undoing, which I, I think the place was already falling apart before the hurricane and then they let, let it go, but they're supposed to be doing a uh, 40 or 50,000 uh, amphitheater inside. Obviously a casino, there's gonna be a, a marina on the Gulf on the south side, and then, a, then there'll be a golf course behind it. So you've got uh, Pops Ferry Road over here, they're talking about doing a work, eat, uh, play, condo shopping, uh, entertainment Bertusi property. Uh, you got big play right around the corner for the kids. Um, you know, so between uh, the Bertusi property, the um, the golf course and Marina Casino, and then the other casino, we've seen a lot of influx and in interest in Biloxi, and it's growing exponentially. All right, Greg, let's go outside. Let's show these guys what the history is outside your backyard here. All right, let's do it. So when you rent this place, you come outside here. Got it. So first off, get you some hamburgers and hot dogs. And use the new grill hill here that Greg just brought in today, right? That's right. <laughs> it's right new, right here. It's a perfect area that's it's built for. But I want to show you all this. So I assume back in the 50s that this was probably like a, a dirt road, Greg. What, what do you think? Yeah, I would say it was probably a gravel, and then it, it only showed the path of the, of the tires. Right. So in June, when Nico's book, uh, Twilight of Memory, I highly recommend you guys to go right now to Amazon and order it. If you come and stay here at uh, Greg's Airbnb, there's going to be a book here for you. So you can sit there and look out at the actual place where the story comes from. That's pretty cool. But I want to show y'all something because you'll have to do this. So in her book, she talks about an alley. Elvis loved parking back here in the alley because he said nobody could uh, find out that he was here at June's house. This is where it was. Right here. I believe this was Elvis's parking space when he came to Bloodsy to see you. He just come down this little dirt road that probably nobody traveled on, just the people here in this little neighborhood. And he would park the car literally right here, or it could have been in this other direction. But this definitely was the area. And how I know that is June describes in her book that <laughs> they parked there one night, sitting here in the car, and of course the headlights were on and I believe it reflected off of the apartment building which is still here in 2021. June's mama was right here. You can't see it. But June's mama was right there in the kitchen and there's a window on that back kitchen. Well, she could see the light reflecting off of the apartment complex. So she's thinking, well, who's parked back there in my backyard? So she sneaks up on Elvis and June. We don't know what Elvis and June was doing, you know, here in the, his Cadillac. But uh, June, uh, I believe Elvis jumped out of the car and, you know, hey, Miss Winnico, how you doing? <laughs> you know, uh, threw on his Southern charm. And uh, I think she had baked a, a banana pie or something. So Elvis ran inside, got some milk, ate some of her pie and everything it was cool. But June did say that this is, Greg, where Elvis parked at whenever he came back to her house, right here in the back alley. It was right here. Yeah. Pretty cool? It's cool, baby. Give it a shot. Yeah. Yeah. So when you stay here, so guys, when you stay here at, at, at Greg's place when you're in Biloxi, I mean, don't go and bother people or anything, but come out here and take a picture. I mean, because I definitely can place Elvis here for you guys once upon a time in his life. So I just showed you how to do it. It's real easy. There, there's where you park at. Just walk right here to the alley. No doubt about it. So now let's go to the front of the house. So come over here, Greg. See that window right there? That's the window I was talking about. She can see the headlights coming off of this apartment building in front of us from her kitchen window. So I assume that would be the only kitchen window on that side of the wall for her to be looking at. 
that's why I put them parked right back there where you and I just were. And in that room, uh, this um, window over here on the far corner, if you can see, that's where those famous pictures of Elvis, can't see it, but that's where Elvis was in those pictures on the other side of that. That was June's bedroom there on the back. So let's go over here. Elvis Continental was parked right here. No doubt about that, because we see that picture that Elvis captured probably pretty much where I'm standing at. He probably was about standing right in here when he took that picture of June, and I'm showing you now on the screen. Because you can see that house literally would be right here across the street from your home, Greg. And then I assume that the street lights were probably in the same area back then. I mean, that would just, to me, make sense. And that first night, they definitely parked right out here up under the street light because she prominently described that in her book. About was able to see Elvis's face real, real good. And they set out here till 6 a.m. that morning. Of course, we don't know what they did. But uh, you know how two new young lovers are. You can't leave each other's arms, you know. And uh, so Elvis walks her right up here to that porch. And... Um, I said, you know, baby, I'll see you later. You know, I, I got to go because he's playing Alabama. He's actually going to play a show that night. And gave her a good night kiss. And June goes in the house with a smile on her face. <laughs> and I think her mom was up. But she was trying not to wake her mom up because I think her mom's bedroom was right over here in the corner in this area. And, uh, of course, the mom was up the whole time. I was wondering where her daughter was all night. But yeah, but all that happened right here on Fayard, Fayard Street, that's how you say it, Biloxi, Mississippi. And I think Greg's address is 229 Fayard. Their address now is 225 and a half, one half. <laughs> so I don't know how you do that address in the phone book. But yeah, Elvis was there once upon a time in his life. Can we and now show? Glow Trotting and Trey was. And now you can. You can stay there now. Right next door. And it's an awesome place. I can't wait to hang out there tonight. But yeah, you did a great job on the owning. It does look like uh, in that picture, man. Yeah, I appreciate it. That and like you said, that was like you said, that was important for you, man, because it was the only thing that really connects your house to that story. Because June's just standing right there over her shoulder right here. And that owning is prominent in that picture that I'm showing you on the screen right now. There it is. Restored. See that's what you do when you enjoy history. You make sure you preserve that and put it back to how it was in the glory years, right? Hey man, can you see though, Greg? Can you can you see Elvis? Can you see him walking around here? Oh, absolutely. Can, can you can you see him, man? I can see it. Well done. And I can see him walking right here. Like I said, right out this door or the front door, the, down these steps right here, right over onto our house. <laughs> yeah, you know, to your house there and going inside and meeting that family. I mean, it definitely could happen. Definitely could happen. So if you plan on visiting Biloxi, Mississippi, please consider staying at a place that has a historic Elvis Presley story attached to it. So guys, I thought this would be a cool way to finish this video. Right here where I am, I'm, I'm on the beach here in Biloxi, Mississippi. It's real early in the morning here. And right here, Across the street is the White House Hotel. And the reason I wanted to bring you here to this beach, right here where I'm standing at, let me see if I can make sure it's focused, it is. The reason I wanted to bring you right out here is, this is where Elvis spent his first night on the town in Biloxi at, pretty much all night to about 3.30 a.m. with June Winnico. 
This is where she says they fell in love. Right here, there was a pier right here in front of us that night. And they walked that pier and had a good time. But what I wanted to show you guys is, let's take the drive that Elvis and June would have taken that night when they left this beach. Let's see if I can do this. The cops left just for me. So here's the White House. This is how Elvis would have taken June home that night in November 1955 when they spent all night long out here on the beach and lost track of time. I'm trying to time this a certain time for you guys because I wanted to tell a story in the same actual location that the story took place. The same place Elvis was once upon a time in he and June's life. There is the lighthouse, famous lighthouse here in Biloxi. And straight ahead is the Beau Rivage all lit up for the early morning. So this is Beach Boulevard, Highway 90. Uh, this boulevard would have been here back in 1955, of course. But everything around would be different. So this is Howard Avenue, the famous Howard Avenue. They would have traveled right here. Across these railroad tracks, which would have been here back in 55. And I assume that June took Elvis the long way home because she didn't want to leave. It's 3.30 in the morning. She's probably scared to death what her mom's going to be doing when she got home. So she probably took Elvis <laughs> around the world to get to her place. But ultimately, Elvis would have turned right here, in my opinion. So they would have turned right here on this road.
probably would have been going about 13 miles per hour like I am. And Elvis's Cadillac. And they would have parked right here, up under this light, in front of June Winico's house. And right here, they sat in this car, right here where I am, until around this time, from 3.30 to 6 a.m., and Elvis kissed her goodnight, and June slowly went into her house there and Elvis walked her guys walked her to that porch that happened right here on Fayard Street and I just wanted to do that drive for you guys around this time when it really happened and now hopefully there's no cars coming down so I hope you enjoyed this episode of Glow Trotting with Trey. If you did, just give me a like so uh, YouTube will share it to all other Elvis friends. And when you come to Biloxi, Mississippi, look into this place. I highly recommend it. Elvis history. Elvis history and you're close to the Bow Ravage. You're close to the IP. You're close to the Hard Rock uh, Casino just right down the road. And like I said, Elvis was right here literally out this back door. <laughs> Once upon a time in his life, and iconic pictures of him was definitely captured right there. No doubt about it. Thank you for watching this episode. Don't double dribble. Subscribe to Glow Trotting with Trey to stay updated with every new video that I upload each Tuesday on Elvis and special ones here and there. Until next time, I'll see you down the road. Thanks for watching.